look at the patch bed of variation of a model matrix. From here we can interrupt the internal routing of the semi-modular synth by descending the signal to another element of the synthesizer or by bypassing its default routing and taking a modulation source and applying it or sending it elsewhere in the signal path or process chain. To better understand how the patch bay works, it's helpful if we understand how the default routing operates. It's worth knowing also that with the neutron, patching out doesn't interrupt the default routing, but runs in parallel to it. So when patching something in, that uh, it breaks the default connection. For example, if we patch out from the LFO, then the default routing stays in place to the VCF. And the LFO signal is split in parallel between the defaults and the patch lead. But if we patch into the VCF, then it breaks the normalized chain. So default routing. Um, I'll put a picture of that here from the uh, manual for this. As you can see, oscillators 1 and 2 go through the mix knob first and into the VCF. Noise and external in are also mixed into this input path too. The LFO by default runs into the VCF via mod depth, as does envelope 2 via uh, envelope depth. Then from the cutoff, from the cutoff filter, the signal then flows into the overdrive circuit, and the overdrive is then default patched into the VCA, as is envelope one and VCA bias uh, via its knob. The unipolar LFO is routed to uh, attenuator two. From where the signal split three ways to uh, pulse width one and two, split into oscillators one and two, and to attenuator one. The bipolar LFO is routed by default to the mult in and then obviously uh, out through mult one and two. Assuming nothing else has been plugged into line, this, this is just the default routing. Noise is also uh, by default patched into sample and hold, and EG2 is patched to uh, invert on the default routing. I've got this set up so it's actually playing a pattern uh, sequenced by the Roland TB3. Have a listen. This is plugged into the external in, which is added just before the frequency uh, cut off knob. Turn the volume up on the external in. That makes the same with it. To listen to just the external in alone, then. We interrupt the signal path at the VCF in. And that breaks the normalization coming from the oscillators to the uh, filter. And allows us to listen just to the external in. this also enables any external audio to be run through the rest of the signal path. And through the filter and the onboard bucket brigade delay. Again, that's just the external in from the TB3. I'm 
and back onto its own oscillators. I'm not going to go into detail on obviously what all the patches are in, individually. They're reasonably self-explanatory um, once you find your way around the synthesizer, you know, if, you, if you're kind of new to this. Um, but the important bit to remember is how you're breaking the default routing rather than just patching out of something. It actually breaks it in line. Okay, I hope this has helped. Um, any of the questions, feel free to ask. The, the manual for these is actually pretty good. It, it's well worth reading. Thanks.